have a review on this Six Moon Design Gatewood Cape. So if you want some more information about weights or size or anything like that of the cape itself, uh, go back and check that out. There's some good information in there. Uh, I have received a few comments and some questions about how other bivvies would fit inside the Gatewood Cape. So I wanted to bring it back out and pitch it up for you and just put some bivvies inside and, and take a look at how they fit. So let me get a bivy set up and I'll be right back. All right, so I've got the MLD Bug Bivy 2 pitched up in here and it's, there's definitely enough space for it. The uh, lower tie outs, uh, I have those pulled and I mean, there's eight or 10 inches on either end of this thing. So there's definitely enough space for this to pitch up um, for the floor size. Um, I feel like there's, I'm kind of left uh, wondering about the actual pitch height of it, um, being able to uh, pull the bivy higher off the ground. Maybe in summer, I would opt to raise the trekking pole a bit and move the tie outs uh, for the gatewood itself and get it a little higher off the ground. And then that would increase the height that I could actually tie these out on the inside. Um, definitely appreciating the top entrance right now, uh, being able to unzip it and just kind of sit up in here. And then on, on this side, I usually only tie out the head end. So if I were carrying something like this, I would definitely have to carry the extra four tent stakes to stake out the bivy. And then I would, I would have to carry another tent stake, probably a little bit more cord to be able to tie out the foot end tie out over here, just to keep it from sagging the tarp down so much. Um, as you can see, I'm kind of just borrowing a uh, small tree there with some shock cord to kind of hold it up a bit. Um, yeah, so I'm kind of uh, disappointed in, in, the, in the height of the tie outs here, being able to fit this bivy in here. So let me, let me grab the camera and I'll walk you around this and, and we'll take a look at it together. All right, so what I've done here is went ahead and raised the center trekking pole there to try and get some more height out of this. Uh, and then I raised my end head tie out and that pulled a little bit more space on the inside, got it a little, little tighter, but uh, definitely a lot of room for improvement on this. I'm gonna play around with the pitch some more and see if I can get it better, but as of right now, I'm thinking the gatewood may just be a little bit too short for the bug bivy too, so. I'll see what I can figure out. All right, don't laugh, but this is what I've come up with so far. I took that shot cord and propped a couple of sticks up here and then took it down to another tie out. Um, what that did for me is kind of pulled both the tie outs at the top away from each other and gave some extra support to be able to get the top ridge line or, or ridge of the Bug Bivy 2 pulled tight. So definitely looking a lot better. It, uh, it, it absolutely could be higher, but this pitch would definitely work. I think it would do as good a job as uh, a number of other bivvies that are designed around bug protection that would kind of keep the net off of you throughout the night. So yeah, looks like it can be done. It'll just take a little bit more messing around with. All right, let me grab another bivy and put it in here and we'll see how something else fits. All right, so I have the MLD Super Light Solo bivy in here now. And this setup I really like. I think it'll be a good one. I did switch the head end to the right side now because of the zipper entrance side. Um, and unfortunately I did not grab a thinner sleeping pad before I left the house. So uh, I'm not gonna do the whole climb inside and show you how I fit thing. I've done that with this bivy before. So um, there's plenty of room in it and it's a bivy that works out really well for me. But you can see that uh, there's plenty of space. And I mean, a, a bivy like this is something that you only 
like I only get in it when it's time to go to bed so I kind of leave it sitting like this and just sit on top of it when I'm at camp so plenty of room for that one and there's one more I want to show you give me a second let me just get that set up all right I know the uh, length of this video is kind of getting away from me here a little bit but wanted to just show something that I've only had in a one video so far and that's the Sea to Summit Mosquito Pyramid Net. Now this comes in at two ounces. So with the net tent, our pyramid net here, and the Gatewood Cape, you're gonna be like 13 ounces total, 14 ounces total, somewhere right in there. I'll have to put that on the scale at some point and figure that out. But this is a floor entrance, so you climb in underneath, and it does have the four stakeout loops um, it is asymmetrical, so on one side here, the head side, you would have plenty of room to sit up inside. Um, and then on the foot end, it just kind of drapes down over your feet. So, I really wanted to see what this thing looked like in here, so let me uh, set the camera down and climb inside, and we'll see how much space it actually gives. So I'm completely inside here. I'm not quite sitting up. My head's definitely touching the top of the net. Um, but there's a, there's a good bit of space to move around. If, uh, if Actually, if I sewed a tie out in right here, I could pull the foot end up. And this thing would be excellent for uh, kind of maybe just, uh, of course, warmer temperatures when bugs are actually an issue. But maybe a, some trip that I'm not expecting too much rain or something like that and wouldn't need the uh, bathtub floor this would be a very light option uh, as a as kind of a modular complete setup here um, just a piece of polycryo this nano uh, mosquito net and the gatewood cape i'd be in good shape this is a nice summer setup i like it all right well that's what i've got for you today thanks for watching i know it was long certainly appreciate you sticking around if you have any questions Comments, drop in the box below. I'll do my best to answer them.